Hello everyone and welcome to the last installment of my January 2022 Disney trip videos. Um, I just got back yesterday. You could probably tell that I've just woken up in the last hour or so. It's like 12, 12.30 right now. I think I woke up at like 10, 30, 11 ish. I slept for like 10, 11 hours, which was very much needed, but I'm back. I'm getting to the point where I'm well rested again. And now I am sharing with you guys everything that I got while my friend Jeanette and I were in Disney World. Um, I didn't buy a lot of things. Most of my money went to, you know, food and snacks because this was both of our first trips uh, without parents, um, with our own money being big girls. <laughs> As we say as we're 20 and that's our first solo trip um, but I have a lot of fun goodies to share with you guys and I'm so excited to share them so I'm gonna go ahead and start this off because I don't think I have anything else to say when I went to Disney World you know it's during the 50th celebration so I had a couple of things that I knew I was gonna get um, that were like on my list I'm gonna get it or I hoped I would find it so I could get it so the first item is the iconic 50th tote bag. I saw this first posted around the time of um, October 1st, you know, when the 50th officially started, and I knew I needed it. I'm very much a tote bag kind of gal. Um, I have one that I carry with me all the time, and the design on this is just too gorgeous. It's gold, pink, blue, it says Magic Kingdom, it has the 50th, we've got the castle, the Tangled Lanterns, we've got Pirates, we've got Small World, we've got uh, rides that are no longer in Magic Kingdom like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and we've got the train down here. I mean, the train's still there. I'm just going out of order. But there's so many amazing details on here. The style is just beautiful, and I had actually watched a vlog um, before we went and in that vlog a girl had purchased the bag and she said she got it at Starbucks because it is the uh, a Starbucks item and so in our first like hour that we were in Magic Kingdom we were on Main Street and I was like you know what let's go over to Starbucks we can get something to drink and eat and I need to see if this tote bag's there because I was told it was at Starbucks and it was it does go in and out of stock but I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on this. This was 27 or 28? $27.99. So $28 at Starbucks on Main Street if you are looking for it. I feel like now that, you know, the initial hype of it is kind of dwindled down a little bit, it's a little bit easier to find, but that's the place to check out. Then the next two items I have, I got at the um, Pin Trader shop in Frontierland in Magic Kingdom. So I have, let's see how well I can film these. So I got a Flynn Rider pin. This is his wanted poster and it's got all of the um, arrows around it and such. Tangled is my favorite Disney movie and I have a small collection of Disney pins. I've definitely slowed down on buying pins a lot recently. I really only want to buy the ones that I truly love. So I've got at least five or six other Tangled pins and because I love it, but I don't have any of just Flynn Rider himself. So I saw it, was like, okay, I'll think about it. Then I saw it again at the pin trading shop and knew I had to get it. And this guy is yellow, so I believe that's $12.99. And then I got a 50th pin. I knew going in I wanted to get a 50th pin. This one is just so very classic. This was literally everywhere in every park, but I got it at the pin trading place as well. The backing bent on me a little bit, but it's the castle with the kind of iridescent look to it in gold with the 50th in front of it. Um, this was silver, so it was $9.99. Um, I just felt like I really wanted, you know, a 50th pin to show that I went during the 50th. So those were the only two pins I picked up. I had my eye on a couple others, but I am going back in March with my friend Maddie. So um, some of the merchandise I didn't purchase this trip was kind of a, if I'm still thinking about it, I will purchase some on my next trip. But if I forget about it, 
Obviously, it wasn't that important because Bochanet and I kept each other in check very well this trip. We said no many ears because they're all adorable. We just already have too many for the amount of times we go to Disney. Um, but we kept each other in check very, very well. Um, then the next item I have here is another one that I had planned on getting um, before the trip, which is the 50th Mickey soap bottle. So, um, I got this at the Emporium. We saw it earlier in the day and then when we were leaving is when I picked it up. So I didn't carry it around all day. It was $19.99 and it did come with soap. It's the most generic soap in the world. Um, we used it our other two and a half days, um, but it doesn't really have a scent to it or anything. And obviously traveling, I had to dump it out, but with my Bath and Body Works obsession, I've got plenty of foaming soaps to fill this bad boy up with. So the front of it has like the 50th and it's got a whole bunch of characters around it. Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, I believe Figment's on here, yes. And we've got Orange Bird, Chippendale, Dumbo, so many, so many characters. And then of course the top is the Mickey soap. So when you press down, oh, there's still a little bit of soap left in here. Um, don't know how that got through. TSA and security, the more you know. Um, but you push down and then how it's formed, it forms a little Mickey in your hand, so it's a little bit of magic just every day. Um, and I've been wanting like a little Mickey soap dispenser since a couple years ago when I was watching a lot of Tokyo Disneyland vlogs and they have this like everywhere. So they do have this on Shop Disney, but it's a different pattern bottle. It's not the 50th, but it does have the Mickey soap dispenser also for $19.99 if you want to get it. But this was my one thing that I was really looking for. And we also found it at the Creation Shop in Epcot. So that was all that I got on the Magic Kingdom day. The next day was Hollywood Studios, and this is, might be my favorite purchase of the trip. So I got this tie-dye bucket hat. This was $29.99, so it's got a whole bunch of bright colors, yellow, pink, blue, orange. It's got green and purple where it mixes in certain spots. I am very much a bright color person, and I saw this earlier in the day and couldn't stop thinking about it throughout our Hollywood Studios day, so we ended up going back so I could get this guy because I was planning on getting a t-shirt. I just wasn't crazy about any of the t-shirts, so bucket hat it is. It's got Mickey on the front right here. It's just printed on, and then the back says Disney Parks, which is embroidered on, and it's so cute. I wore it on the Animal Kingdom morning, um, and it definitely saved me because it was super sunny. Then next I have some snacks that survived the trip back. So I've got Chippendale Snack Company. This is just mountain mix, trail mix. Um, each day we pretty much each got some sort of snack. We got Magic Kingdom Rice Krispie Treats and then like some Mickey shaped pretzels and I got some Mickey shaped veggie chips. And we had some other snacks here and there as well, um, but I got this the Hollywood Studios night because like you get back to the resort and it's like we'd rather just like snack in our room rather than go over to the main dining hall. So I never actually got around to eating these, but I'm definitely going to be snacking on these today and tomorrow. So it's just Dale and regular trail mix. It's got peanuts, raisins, milk chocolate candies, almonds, cashews, just a classic trail mix. And then our last morning when we were hanging out in the resort before the bus picked us up, I got this mini Rice Krispie treat. Um, I got it for my mom because I wanted to get her a sweet treat. I wasn't crazy about any of the candies for her. They just didn't seem like it was up her alley, but got her this Mickey shaped Rice Krispie treat, which I think she'll love. I just didn't get a chance to give it to her last night. And I want to say the trail mix was like five to six dollars and this guy was like three fifty. And then last but definitely not least, I have a pair of earrings. I'm obsessed with earrings and Bo Jeanette and I kept thinking about jewelry our entire trip. We were always going straight for the jewelry spots. So this is a gold hoop pair 
and one side has Tinkerbell, and then the other has the moon and a star, which I'm thinking of second star on the right from Peter Pan. There's beautiful gold hoops. We got them at, or well, we. She also got a pair of earrings, but we found these at our hotel. We stayed at All Star Movies, and these were $19.99, um, and a lot of the earrings were more in the $40 range, so these were definitely more of our price range. That's everything I purchased at Walt Disney World um, that made it back with me and wasn't, um, you know, eaten while we were there, but we definitely have a lot of fun snacks. Um, if you haven't already watched the vlogs, I will link that playlist down below. It was so much fun. I hope the vlogs are fun. I just got back. I haven't even looked through any of the footage, so I hope that you guys can enjoy them as well. And yeah, so that's the end of my January trip videos. So stay tuned for probably April because in March I'm going again with my friend Maddie. We're going during spring break, which is gonna be so much fun. And so those videos will probably be up in April as well as of course, a whole bunch of other videos in between then. But you know, specifically looking for the Disney content. I don't blame you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!